Hello, this is MegaFerret4. Today I'm going to show you a very important aspect of JavaScript called a variable. Along with that, I'll teach you how to utilize functions in JavaScript to make your site more interactive. So first, open up your HTML document that has just your tags, whatever you need. So here's what mine looks like. You know, just a basic HTML document with your script tags and everything. So now, in between your script tags, we're going to create a variable. To create or to declare, declare a variable, you have to write var, var, then type the variable name. My variable name will be first var. Then after a variable, you put a semicolon. Now, later in my script, I could say alert first var. And what this would do, oh, also note, there's no quotes around this. Whenever you um, alert something and you want it to be a quote, there's no, oh, not a quote, a uh, variable, there'll be no quotes around it if you put quotes around it, it would actually just alert first variable. What this alert would do, it would display the, it would alert the value of first variable. Oops. Alright. So, now, what you can do to declare a value for your first variable, you do first variable equals, and now let's say, let's make it equal the value of 500, and now put a semicolon. Now let's alert the value. So, you alert first var semicolon. Now what this should do, this should, right when the um, website loads, it should load 500. Let's see if it works. And there you go. That's how you do a simple variable. I'm sorry I'm out of time for today, but next time I'll show you how to do a function, which should be coming up very quickly. And for variables, just one last se thing, you can also assign quotes, like test, but make sure you have quote marks around it. And that would do exactly the same thing as you see. So there you go. But make sure if it's a quote, to put quote marks around it. That's all the time I have for today. See you later.